My whole business changed drastically when I learned how. So the big question is, what are top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? To get the answers, we interview top real estate agents to learn their secrets to success. Listen, we believe every agent should make a minimum of $100,000 per year, and we're on a mission to make this happen. We've already helped over 100 agents achieve this with our coaching. So if you wanna fast track your business growth, get to your first $100,000 in GCI or add another $100,000 in GCI using social strategies, then head over to go.eliteagentsecrets.com or you can just click the link in the description below. Also, just make sure to follow us, hit that subscribe button, and if you get any value from this at all, please tell a friend and leave us a review. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. I wanted to roll into your third and final Again, you've you've given us some cryptic topics here, Heather. So you're going to have to unpack these. For yeah, I, we'll see what this is. I, I don't even know. So let's let's see. Well, we let's can mix it up if you want to. If you want to. If you want to surprise with a third topic, because I, if you wanted to switch it up, I think a third topic that would be really interesting for all yeah. our listeners would actually be the team building, because you told us off there. To Mm-hmm. So I would love to do that if you're if you're game because totally you've just gone from four to eighteen yeah no, sorry four to and you've just added fourteen so you've gone from like four to eighteen so we're yes. going to switch it up on you all all those listeners we're going to do team building recruiting training hiring scaling a bomb ass fucking business and Let's Heather's about it. to drop some heat <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it okay what specific questions do you have? And then I, I'll, I'll answer them. Or do you want me to just talk about like... Walk through the process. So the first one, where are you finding them? How are you hiring them? What trainings? What's onboarding like? Expectations, salary, yeah. commission, yeah. growth paths? Yeah. Um, okay. So I, ha- I have a lot of agents that uh, follow me on social media. So I post things there, like we are hiring, and then I will get one of my really successful buyers agents to um, talk about how, her success, how she's found it, um, how much money she makes. Um, and I found that there's just a lot of agents out there that do want help um, and that do want to be a part of a team and that want the support and want the marketing and don't want to recreate the wheel. Like we have all the listing packages and the buyer packages and the blah, 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 blah. And they, they use all of that. So the recruiting has actually not been hard because just like this is how this just like in a listing presentation. And when I talk about offering the most services, I feel like with a team, we try to offer the team a lot of services so that they are getting way more being on our team than not on our team. Um, one major part of that is that people get um, with our team that they may not get with other teams or they may um, not get at their brokerage is leads. That's huge. And that's um, like my whole business changed drastically when I learned how to scale. Um, I took a a really amazing coaching program and they taught me how to get more business and how to scale. Um, So we run a bunch of Facebook ads. Uh, We then have someone that deals with all of them. uh, And then I, we pre-qualify them basically. And then they go to the agents. So there's no cold calling. There's no door knocking that like they, they just get pre-qualified leads. Um, and in return, I take a, a portion of whatever they make and I help them grow. Got it. So with the, um, first of all, I just want to throw this in for all our listeners, for all of you guys that, and girls that don't think Facebook ads work, which is what, by the way, what, how me and Peter generate all our business to, you're fucking wrong. So yeah. just throwing that out there for all our listeners. Yep. You, you, you all know you're the ones that are like Facebook ads don't work. They fucking work really well. You just got to know how to work them. So when it comes to, um, I just take that moment there just to. No, it's so true. It's It's so true. I didn't, I didn't think so, but like it, it totally does. That's, that's, that work. It works. But Heather, it works for you, but it doesn't work for me. Yeah. (laughs) 
How yeah. does that go? Um, and you know what? Like the other thing is, um, you saw I had a hard time getting on here today <laughs> because I'm not tech savvy, people. No, no, no. But I get help. And if if anyone wants help or needs to know, I have a great person that can can help you and is reasonable and blah, blah, blah. I offer any help to anybody here if they need it. Um, but uh getting those leads, even for your state of mind, right? It's yeah. like I always know that there's a whole bunch of leads coming in. Yeah. Best thing is too, you don't need your own listings to advertise. You just ask agents if you can advertise their listings. And um, like what we're doing now too, is we are retargeting. So a lead comes in, it then goes to my website and then I follow them around the internet and go like, Hi, it's me ah, again. That's your bitch. Hi, <laughs> homes. Woo, woo. Um, and then we call. But it has taken a few, like we just started really amping up the lead gen and the Facebook ads like um, a few months ago. But it, it's it's everything. And that's how you, that's actually how you build a team. Like you have to have enough business and enough leads to build a team or it's just why what what there's nothing like you're just going to be looking at each other but it's like what are you offering because the thing is i couldn't agree more right and it's like it's so easy to do and it's like if you just if it, if the simplest thing is okay i know team 1 versus team 2 and it's like go to team 1 and it's like you can cold call or you can go to team 2 and you can cold call it's like well what's going to stop you from going from one to the other if something comes up? Because they, they're not really giving you anything. that You've got the same opportunity, let's call it, which you'd basically have a loan. you got a team three, which is, hey, we'll give you inbound leads. This isn't like, what's hard about that? Nothing. Yeah. And it's like, it's such an easy, it's like, you don't have to do lead gen. We'll give you online leads that you can work. We'll give you a system where you get them pre-qualified. And it's like, people then all of a sudden like, oh, that sounds way better. And it's, it's an attractive value proposition for people who want to work for you, which helps explain why, you know, maybe recruiting and growing your team has been easier for you because it's not only are the numbers you're putting up on the board so people know they're going to get good shit. Okay, it's like I'm part of a good team here who knows what they're doing, which is a huge value driver because I'm not sure if we said at the beginning of the show, but me and Peter really do believe in teams. We definitely think it's the way to go, even for a new agent. Even if you want to go out on your own eventually, join a team, you'll cut your learning curve in like half, if not more. Yeah. Because 100%. You do, it's just like the commission you pay your team, you remember the team lead broker, who, however it's structured, they're just getting commissioned based on the, their ability to help you produce. They, you're then not getting paid otherwise, right? So it's like join a team and pay them 20%, 30%, whatever it is. Some, I know some numbers are a bit high, but let's say, for example, Heather, we'll go an extreme example, unless this is your numbers, in which case I feel bad. But Heather takes like 80%, <laughs> right? And then it's like, but let's say in three months, you get seven years of experience. And it's like, so you might sell 30 homes in three months. This is such a wild example. But do you know what I'm saying? It's like, and then you can go off and do your own thing. But then maybe Heather's like, actually, we do 10%. You've passed the test. And then, <laughs> then you're good to go. Do you know what I mean? It's like, this is why we love teams, because we were the same. It's like, let's just cut this learning curve. Let's just join someone, pay them a little bit of money, got a few deals. We're like, okay, this is cool. We learn it. And then it's like, let's go do our own thing. All right. And it's like, because that was our strategy, we always wanted to go out on our own. We knew that. But it's like, we wanted to learn the business very, very quickly with regards to some of the funny stuff to actually sell homes. We've got some good stories there, but probably two, two <laughs> shows not long enough to go into some of our stories of selling our first <laughs> homes. I'll tell you that. But, um, when it when it really comes to bringing the team on then, and this is kind of my final note on this, was do you have like, I guess, a timeline for them? So they come on because one of the biggest things that we've seen with new hires is expectations around kind of future. And I'm not sure if you do anything on this or have thought about it, but one of the slight changes that we've seen make an impact and it was actually something we learned from a mentor was was like six to eight week goals where it's like if you achieve this and then we kind of either like give you a bump or you get an extra thing or you do a bit of this you do a bit of that and because it's such a short timeline this is specifically in the sales role their motivation went up massively because they could see like the next step it wasn't like 
you'll get a 50 grand pay rise in 12 months if you hit this. What it was is it's the 12 months into like six two-month blocks, but each one they get like an incremental bonus, but the bonus can be fucking tiny. Like it could be tiny, but it's like it's progress and it's and it's so easy to see. So it's two months away and we get another review. So I'm not sure if you've done anything on the whole, like this is what the future could look like. This is kind of how it plays out when you come on to the team. We do. Uh, if you do a certain amount of deals, you take home more money. Okay. It's um, like a tier but, system. Yeah. Yeah. And we find that is great. But I also like that idea too um, with the the smaller sort of closer goals every two months. Like I, I really like that idea um, yeah. because I, I think that would inspire people for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it's it's specifically sales roles, right? Because sales can, it's the one that really beats you up the most. Um, like other roles can get it, but they tend to have three month reviews anyway. Like you got an account manager or marketing, they tend to get three or six month reviews. But yeah. with sales, like it's such a, like it's such an emotional game when you're selling and when you have a great week, you're on the top of the world and then you have a bad week and you're like, what's going wrong in my life? And we're trying to overcome some of those like mental roller coasters with yeah. like their peaks and troughs of the emotions. And it's like, well, if they can see like a, a check, it's not an end point, it's a checkpoint. It's like, I get to this point and I get a bump. So I'll give you a, a very simple example for someone that sets appointments, right? Like gets you an appointment set. Say you paying them $50 for an appointment that shows up or is set, right? In you say to them when they come on, in eight weeks, if you've set 20 appointments that have shown, right, say from cold call and what, however you want to structure it, you get a bump in pay and you go from being, say, a junior appointment setter, you get put to associate appointment setter and you go from $50 per appointment to 55 So it's a tiny little bump. And then in six weeks, eight weeks, you do the same. And then they go to an appointment center. Then they go to, say, like a senior appointment center. They're bumping pay per appointment, like 20 bucks across four levels. But that's eight months. Yeah, that's awesome. Right? And then their mindset is like, oh. But the thing is, it's tiered both ways. So they can drop back. Oh, right? interesting. So to get be rewarded state. for good behavior and get penalized for bad behavior at the same time to encourage high performance at all times. Yeah, key performance. So for example, let's say to be a senior appointment setter, you have to set, let's say 50 a month, right? To be a normal one, you have to set 40. To be an associate, you have to set 30. And to be a junior, you set 20, right? So basically, you could be like a senior and then you just – you know, stuff goes wrong and you can drop down to like a normal setter. You're rolling. Wow, I like so, it. Because I like that. There we go. And for the low, low price of $25,000, that'd be a bit bad. <laughs> there we go. Everyone got out free. Uh, but yeah, this is like sales motivation because this is one thing that me and Peter, I mean, we're talking about, this is like years of like trying shit. Like, yes. Because sales specifically is the hardest role to motivate. It re- like we've struggled with this so much and I feel like we're going on a bit of a tangent, but like we're in real estate, we're in sales and it's those roller coasters we have. And it's like, well, how do you do it? And it's like small incremental goals, six to eight weeks is what we've found, whether it's team, also team bonuses were all uh, bonuses work well, like top sales number of transactions sold inside of a month gets a trip to Las Vegas. Mm, I so, like that. So like rather than giving, say, a five grand or a three grand bonus, you you pay for a trip somewhere or you do something so that they don't get money. They actually have to do like a thing. Right. And there's things out there that these are some of the ones that we've discovered that they just tend to have a bit of a better impact. But they're not they're not perfect. We're not saying it'll work for everyone, but we've tried a lot of different stuff between us, like a lot. And this is the closest we've got to kind of keeping a solid trajectory on like motivation happiness uh and like they feel you know like they've got they're going somewhere because their status is kind of increasing throughout the company and also it depends on how you structure your agents whether you've got like buyers and listings or or it's different but if you say for example just for hypothetical you can't be a listing agent until you're a really good buyer and agent well let's say you had a tiered buyer's agent 
then once they pass the four tiers, in this example, they can become the listing agent, which gets paid even more money, right? Yeah. And then they go up the listing agent ranks and then they become, you know, the team lead of them and then they become, you know, your associate broker owner or whatever it looks like. So hopefully that was interesting. <laughs> no, no, I uh, I totally agree. And and on my, like, that's what we, like, there's no model for a big team. Like I, I've no. looked, I've tried to find it. I, I can't find it. Like I'm a big fan of, I've been carrying around the book my whole career, uh, the Keller Williams book, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent, Yeah. Um, literally for 15 years. Like I've been carrying it around. And when I expanded my team so much, I like, I went in and I was trying to figure out, like, please just tell me, um, you know, the book is like 15, 20 years old. And, and, and I feel like we're just starting to figure out how to run big teams and how to make people as successful as they can be and all of these things. And just like you guys, I mean, the trial and error, <laughs> like I, I've tried every single thing, like every lead generation company, every, like everything I've tried, like it, I'm shiny new object. Oh, that's going to get me business. I want it. I want it. Um, anything. Um, but what I'm trying to do now is I've set up a tier system, just like what you're saying. So I have me and then I have four agents who make a certain amount underneath me and then they have agents underneath them. And so then I only manage the four and then yeah. they help me manage everybody else. And um, you have to make a certain amount to get to the next level. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. I'm, I'm thinking well, like I, a $200 I, I, million dollar per year agent here. Holy shit. Oh. Where's the money at? <laughs> yeah. Give me this, the money. Th this has been an absolute pleasure i want to give you this stage for a minute here if people wanted to learn more about you buy or sell a home through you maybe have referrals maybe you've got something else going on what's the best place to get in touch whether it's phone email socials website tell the people yes. where you're at I would love everyone to get a hold of me. And if you're an agent, if you're a buyer or seller or anyone out there, and if you have any questions, like I'm always want to share and I always want to help people. Um, my website is Haddon, H A D D E N homes.com. Um, and my name is Heather Haddon and I'm out of Toronto. Um, you can totally look me up. Uh, my Instagram is also, I have two. I'm uh, if you look up Heather Haddon, you will find me. Um, and again, I'm always here to help or answer any questions or or you know whatever. <laughs> I'm here to just do everything. I love I'm it. Just here. Thank you. I'm for here coming in my on sweats. This. If you need me, I'll be home in my sweats. <laughs> Loads of time now. Big team, 18 team members. <laughs> Heather, it's been a pleasure. Everyone, we hope you've enjoyed listening to this episode and we will see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in gaining access to our courses and coaching programs, then head over to go.eliteagentsecrets.com.